Hi, Shannon here again with the Wayback Machine and one of my colored pencil portraits from 1987. I can show you that. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. I would really appreciate it. So this piece was done in Prismacolor pencils and Derwent Studio pencils. I did a series of cowboy portraits. They were done for the store that I, I worked for a chain of ski stores down in the USA as their sign artist for eight years. I worked full-time doing signs, but I also had my own art gallery in the flagship store in Braintree, and I hung up portraits of cowboys and horses, western-type themes. So that's why I have kind of a western-type frame. I wood frame, I put this in. I used non-glare glass and the one thing, I'm not seeing wax bloom with my Prismacolors. What I am seeing with a few of these old pieces is a different problem. And mind you, these pieces were hanging up, so quite a few people, they, they were exposed to all kinds of elements, being in the foyer, an art gallery in the foyer of a huge store. What I am noticing on a few of them is like a, a wax bloom or a, this kind of fogginess that's on the inside of the glass. It's on the inside of the glass and it's always directly over a dark color. Not all the dark colors do it, so I'm not sure if it was when I used black. I, I rarely used black because I knew black would be the most likely culprit for wax balloon. But time and again, that's what I'm seeing on my very old pieces. And I don't want to take them apart and clean it. I just want to leave them the way they are. This is, let's see what, how, how large this piece is. Got my ruler here. So we've got this piece is twenty one and a half inches long. Again, this was on cans on paper. See that, of course, 14, 15. So, yeah, 14, 15, it's just a little over 15 inches tall. The entire piece, the frame. There, it's in a 30 inch. The whole thing is. 30 inches by 23, 20, 30 inches by 24 inches. So a couple people have asked me to show them the art a little bit better without the glass. And I'm here to help you with that. One of my pieces the glass actually broke as I moved from one location to the other. And I can bring up this piece here. This piece, the glass broke. So you can see the frame. This was a girl named Sean. This was hanging up in Ski Town too. And we can see 
mat board I used. Again, it wasn't archival. Let me get to... Let me get to the paper. And there it is. There's the cancel on paper that I used. I did this one in 88. You can see under there I've got little scribbles of the colors. And so here's a colored pencil portrait I did of a little girl. It says she was four and a half. Yeah, I think it says Sean at four and a half. So she was four and a half years old. And so there's, there you have it. You can see this piece again was done with Prismacolor Pencils and Derwent Studio. So we don't see any wax bloom. Since we don't have the glass, we don't have any of, of that um, glass uh, fog because there, there's no glass on here. So you get to actually see there's, there's no wax bloom at all, even with the dark colors. And you can see my strokes. Here I signed it so people could see it. And there you have it. You can see the cans on paper. So those were two of my children cowboys, cowgirl pieces that used to hang up in Ski Town, USA in Braintree. Thank you for watching. I'll be having more videos coming up, ones where I actually help teach you how to use the colored pencils. So again, please subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you soon.